Now, so let's get into this. So it's been reported that Cardi B has started garnishing blogger Tasha K's bank account uh, over three million owed for making false accusations. So let's read this write up courtesy of the Jasmine brand. So uh, they write, Cardi B has reportedly started uh, the process to seize property and assets owed uh, by a blogger who falsely accused her of having herpes and being an escort. As you know, based on what I've said, Tasha K really walked right into that one because she was too busy running her mouth, um, you know, and took over the interview at the wrong moment. It was literally that. That interview with Star, um, she literally took over from Star at the wrong moment. That is, in my lay person op opinion, what that whole lawsuit hinges on. My oh, girl, and your life has indeed been destroyed. Let's glue this lash together. And that's why low key, I don't really, I don't really f with Cardi B because I, because I have that opinion. I think that that interview, that key moment, and we have discussed it on here. You know, all Tasha K did was basically fill in the blanks or, or a blank for Star, Star Marie, and and in my opinion, from what I saw, and from investigating this lawsuit, she hinged on that one moment, which which could have been overlooked which could have been overlooked. Um, and, you know, they did the test and said she doesn't, she basically did not have herpes, but the test results were saying that, you know, uh, it could have been just dormant. From what I remember, look, don't quote me, darling. Don't quote me, but from what I remember, from what I read, you know, allegedly it was saying that, you know, actually um, it, could have, it could have just been dormant. That's why it wasn't picked up in the test. You know, so look. Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. mm, -mm. Based on all the shit Cardi B said, all the videos we saw, I'm not effing with Cardi B, really, for that lawsuit. I'm not. Uh, but what happened after that? What happened after that, after that cease and desist was sent? What happened after that? That's why I don't F with Tasha K because what happened after that is she inflamed the situation like an idiot instead of just stop reporting on her. If she had just stopped reporting on her or not inflamed the situation by just reporting what other blogs were reporting, then she might not have uh, won that lawsuit. Cardi B might not have won that, uh, won that lawsuit. That is what I believe based on investigating the case. So if you want to reach out for comment y'all be wanting wanting to reach out to sue people because y'all y'all are so busy watching 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 online and watching blogs y'all y'all ain't watching your kids y'all are so, so busy watching online and watching blogs y'all y'all don't be watching your kids darling uh should be getting burnt should be getting burnt because you're like this on your phone y'all are so busy doing that that is like rather tragic rather tragic but anyway then they're all doing that now so look, look they've realized that this is part of their bread and butter so they're certainly now doing it <sighs> this, this shit has gotten deeper people this shit has gotten deeper so let's get into this let me share the screen show let me share the screen hope you guys are well hit those likes Mm -mm -mm. absolutely tragic cardi b has reported uh, reportedly started the process to seize property and assets owed by the blogger who falsely accu accused her of having herpes and being an escort according to radaronline.com <laughs> how sasha k just how how the no wonder tasha k is so mad about it no wonder she's so mad about it mm -mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> according to radar online cardi b has filed paperwork in georgia to start the process of collecting blogger tasha k's assets and bank accounts cardi b recently fil uh, filed to garnish tasha k's accounts at chase bank to try and collect on her millions the document said the new york rapper is owed a total of 3.3 million from tasha Cardi B demanded Chase. I'll be damned if I ever give these these rotten booty hoes 
that. Tasha must be real pissed. Real effing pissed. Um, a stripper hoe made you bankrupt. Give me one second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Former stripper hoe. Sorry. Former stripper hoe. Former stripper hoe, but current rotten booty ass hoe made you bankrupt. Oh, I, I'd rather die. A posh bitch like me would rather die than have that happen. Your booties is rotten. Stop. Don't get offended. It's rotten, bitch. It's rotten, bitch. Rotten, rotten, rotten. You know, we showed a little bit uh, or a lot of Nicki Minaj's ass shots and how they'd be looking all purple, bitch, purple and bruised. Just like we also showed uh, how they were looking, you know, purple and bruised done during her uh, VMA performance. So I'd be damned if one of them type who'd be getting ass shots for a look, darling, to make to impress her N-word, darling. A bitch like me impresses an N-word with this. With this. And this, darling. No implants, darling. Okay. No implants, darling. We don't impress N-words with implants around here. It's about this. So I'll, I'll be damned, darling. If any one of these type watch this channel and try and do nothing, I'll literally laugh. I'd, I'd rip it. I'd rip it to shreds and laugh in your face and and so would, so will the british government okay okay so whew. cardi b recently filed to garnish tasha k's accounts at chase bank to try and collect on her millions y'all be supporting the ratchetest people too look we do we do be supporting but don't get it twisted i still feel the way i feel darling okay okay uh the document said the new york rappers owed a total of 3.3 million from tasha cardi demanded chase and its employees hold all of tasha's property money, wages, and other assets, including property in safe deposit boxes or similar property. Reportedly, the hot-ish rapper demanded, uh, demanded Chase Bank answer questions about the amount of money Tasha Kay has at the institution. Tasha has reportedly rushed back to the court pleading for the federal judge who presided over the civil suit to step in and put a stop to Cardi's demands. She argued the appeal is still pe uh, pending and collections aren't allowed until a decision has been made. As previously reported, uh, Cardi B was awarded 4 million after a jury found Tasha K guilty of defaming the rapper with various posts and YouTube videos. In her original 2019 lawsuit, Cardi said uh, Tasha uh, publicly accused her of working as a prostitute in the past and using hard drugs. Didn't I, just, didn't I see a video on Pornhub of her totally na naked in, someone, in, in what looked like someone else's house? It could have been her house. It could have been a video of her house. But that house looked look like, it, it didn't look like no apartment. It looked like a house house. You know. Girl, what the fuck is this? Uh, Cardi said, Tasha publicly accused her of working as a prostitute in the past and using hard drugs. So didn't I hear, didn't she say that she used Molly? Isn't Molly a hard drug? Like what the what the hell did, have they got tapped? What what did it what did they do to this black woman? What the hell did they do to this black woman? So when you were getting N words perked up, like we like we listened to that video where you said you you would get N words perked up. You didn't take no Percocet. Were they just were just were they just suing Tasha K? Where is Nosy Ho's lawyer? Where was Nosy Ho's lawyer? Well, you should have hired no Nosy Ho's lawyer. What? Oh, I can't. I, I'm, I, can't. I, can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Girl. So when you were getting all them men perks up, like we like we watching that video, like you said, you weren't taking no perks. Perk is not a hard drug. Girl, I'm confused. Anyway. Uh, as previously reported, Cardi B was awarded four million after a jury found Tasha K. Look, this is the sort of shit that God don't be happy with. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. And the funny thing is, Cardi B, yeah, Cardi B be 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 looking at like be thinking that being good is like a joke or a game. She tweeted the other day, is it worth it being a good person? Bitch, if you have to ask that question, you're not a good person, darling. You are just, you just, you are just a good person. You don't have to ask if it's worth it to be a good person. You just are, darling. You just are. 
You just are. Well, why is this? I have come. Sasha also accused Cardi of having the, the herb. The rapper said the allegations were not only false, but caused her emotional distress. Medical records that were turned over in the case proved Cardi did not have the STD. Full story on the jasminebrand.com. So what I what I read and what I researched said that, uh, you know, it could, it could also just be dormant. It could also have been dormant in the system. So, so that is what I researched and read. Okay, reach out to me. Or don't reach out because look, just because y'all reach out and tell me what it is doesn't mean I have to believe you, darling. Look, just leave me alone and get off the internet and go look after them kids. And fly a plane on that, darling. All right, fly that plane, darling. <laughs> 